Uh, like I told you, when you put in maybe like 10 rollies of logs, at the end of the day, maybe you are getting like one and a half uh, rollies of what? Of charcoal. So that's the recovery I told you of about 10 to 12 uh, percent. But now with the improved technologies that we are bringing, the Katamasa kilns, we are able to push that recovery rate uh, to about 25 percent, maybe between 25 to 30 percent, uh, which is almost like double. You double what you, you are getting from this one. So, so we, we, we think once we promote that one, first of all, uh, the, 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 the rate of cutting trees will, will slow down because now you will, you will not need a lot of trees to produce large, uh, large, uh, large volumes of uh, large amounts of charcoal. Uh, and again, of course, I also told you that the improved charcoal kilns are also associated with the low uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Because of this project, we want to welcome the project and appreciate it in advance. I previously we had laws, we had laws that maintain and uh, sustain the, the 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 environment. The district ordinance is very clear, particularly on environment. One of it is saying when you cut one tree, you must plant five. So this one will come to enforce even more of on on our district ordinance. Uh, issues of energy are critical because most of these products are used as a, a fuel source, the charcoal, the, uh, the, the firewood. So if technologies can improve, we think we can reduce the pressures. But again, other than the natural forest, we think uh, supporting farmers outside, uh, uh, outside uh, the natural setting would be very good. We want to promote commercial forestry so that the pressures of natural forests are drastically reduced.